Developing tonight, new video from Sanford, Texas, which is under evacuation orders. It's one of the many panhandle towns impacted by dangerous wildfires. Devon Roming spoke to an HFD captain who was on the front lines along with members of his crew. Devon. Well, Marcelino, there are now four fires burning in the Texas Panhandle. The latest one starting earlier this evening and is now pushing across state lines into western Oklahoma. Of course, this is all happening as firefighters from right here in Houston are there doing their part to help. Firefighters from near and far. But I would say there's almost 500 firefighters here from across the state. Spending nearly a week on the front lines of the massive Smokehouse Creek fire in the Texas Panhandle. It's now burned more than a million acres, making it the largest wildfire in state history. Most of the fires are 60%, 65, 60 to 65% uh, contained. Bo Moreno is a captain with the Houston Fire Department and has been on the front line since Wednesday with a team from Houston and Galveston efforting relief while navigating tough terrains. The grass is gone and just the wind everywhere. We're actually getting dust in our eyes. Uh, you know, it's we're having to wear glasses the whole time. With winds gusting up to 30 miles an hour, Moreno says traveling embers are now sparking at least three other fires, leading to evacuations in the small town of Sanford, Texas. That's from the Roughneck Fire uh, that's going on right now that just started today. As the elements continue to present challenges, Moreno says his team is finding beauty in the ashes. Now some people have lost everything. Clinging to hope from untold stories of what remains. You know, we talked to one family. They said, we've been in this house for 30 years and they have nothing left. And we actually went and helped them look for an opal that means nothing to me, but means something to them is priceless. It was a grandma, great grandmother's opal. As the fire rages on. We all want to help. We all have that drive to help people. And, you know, if we we're just trying to make a bad situation better. Now, the crew from Houston is fulfilling a two week resource request and will stay later if needed. If you would like to help those impacted in these fires, we have a link with this story on KHOU.com. In Houston, Devon Roming, KHOU 11 News. Devon, thank you. Let's go to meteorology.